I knew that opening a film lab was going to be really hard. I knew that it might not make it, but I had to do it. I just had to try it. I sent an email out to all of my existing customers a couple days ago, uh, letting them all know what was happening. And this video is to let the rest of you know what's going on here at the photo department lab. And what's happening is I'm closing the doors permanently. I've been pondering this for the last month really seriously for a lot of reasons. And there are a lot of very good reasons to close the lab. But none of those reasons are because this lab is unsuccessful. Quite the contrary, I've had great success ever since opening the lab while it was still in my home in March. I've had such a huge outpouring of support and excitement from the community here in Milwaukee and from outside of the state, uh, all across the country. Uh, I've been getting film from every state almost. And it's been really incredible to see all these people that trust me and, and trust the lab and, and want to use my services. I've met a lot of really great photographers here in Milwaukee and you know across the country. And I would say that on that regard, this has been a great success. And I'm really, really proud of what I've been able to do here, even though it has been very brief. I'm not going to go into everything in this video because there are a lot of reasons. Some of them are personal. In the end, I just want to be transparent uh, as much as I can be as to why I'm making the decision that I am and uh, what brought me to this decision. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who trusted me, who took a chance, sent me their film. It just has been so awesome um, being able to help you guys in your film photo journey. It's been really cool and it's been really great seeing all of your cool work. I've definitely met some friends that I can, some people that I can now call friends. I've uh, seen, like I said, a lot of cool work, a lot of cool photography from a lot of different places, from a lot of uh, places I probably wouldn't have known or people I wouldn't have known hadn't I done this. So I'm really grateful for that. Let's go over why I'm doing this. Reason number one straight up just money, cash flow. From the beginning, I wanted this lab to be affordable. I wanted it to be accessible to as many people as possible. And I didn't want uh, someone to look at my website, be shocked by prices and say, I can't afford that and have to walk away. Film processing is not inexpensive. It's, it's very expensive. That can scare people away. So I tried really hard in the beginning to be very affordable. And I was, I was so affordable, I was, undercutting myself and so after being open for a couple months I changed my prices I raised them slightly um, to try to come up to a level that would be more sustainable for the lab but even at that higher price point it wasn't quite enough margins for film labs are razor thin there's so much that you have to pay for and that's not even thinking about local permits and licensing uh, your business license uh, taxes the problem, the main problem is that the lab was successful in so much as I was getting a lot of work. I had a lot of film coming in, but we, we got to a, a very interesting threshold where I was getting as much work as I could handle on my own, but I needed to get, a, I needed to get more film in the door in order to start hitting those sales goals. Um, but if I were to max out to that threshold, I wouldn't be able to keep up with film. As it is now, with this uh, last month, um, I got a huge influx of orders and I am behind. <laughs> I'm behind a couple days, uh, which gives me an insane amount of anxiety because I know what it's like to have to wait for your film to be processed by a lab. So that's been nerve wracking um, and difficult because people want to know where their film is and it's here, it's coming, <laughs> but I have to... <laughs> I have to take it as it comes in. So, um, and without having someone here to help me because I can't afford to hire somebody, I have to do everything on my own. I have to do the processing and the scanning. If you're one person doing everything in a lab, it is something that seems insurmountable. And at times it felt like it was. And that's all because of money. If I was able to have uh, the money to buy a processor that would speed up my C41 processing or um, something like a Noritsu scanner or a Frontier that would just make scanning that quick, those problems wouldn't have been 
as big. Unfortunately, I didn't have any capital going into this. I had zero, zero capital, zero investors, no business partner. So the cash flow was always going to be a problem from the get go. Uh, I thought I could get over it. I thought after, you know, getting a certain amount of orders, I'd be good. But uh, the hard, cold reality of math is that uh, at some point something was going to give. And unfortunately, it was me. <laughs> uh, the second problem uh, is time. Uh, like I said, it takes a lot of time to do all these processes and to get the film in and out. But I've been spending about 16 hours a day in this lab every day with no breaks figuring this out. And normally that's not an issue. I don't mind working extra long hours if I have a goal in mind, if I have things to do. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I have people to depend on me and I've been, I've been falling down in those responsibilities. I've been letting responsibilities pile up or letting things slide that it shouldn't um, because I've been too focused on this business. That has taken my focus away from important things I've been missing out on, which has been really tough actually in my personal life. So just on that, um, that was enough to kind of make me want to throw in the towel initially anyway. And then three, the third problem is I'm not a businessman and I, I really hate the business side of things. Like I was talking about the taxes, uh, you know, purchasing things, having things in stock, keeping track of sales and orders and customer service stuff and marketing and, and SEO and the website. It was, uh, it's a lot. It takes a lot of time just to do those things. And I had to do some semblance of that every day while I'm trying to scan and process film. So <laughs> doing this on your own, I don't recommend it. If you want to start a film lab, either keep it really, really small or make sure you have other people that want to do it with you and that you have a bunch of money because holy, and I never wanted to be a businessman. I just get caught up in that capitalistic thinking of I have to monetize everything. And so I'm a creative, I'm a photographer. That's what I want to do. That's what I do. That's what I'm the most comfortable doing. And I haven't been able to do that here. I haven't been able to make any work. I haven't been able to work freelance. I haven't shot anything um, since I started. And that's been really tough on me. And it's made me kind of realize that doing this sort of stuff, like running a business, I have no business doing it. And I have no interest in doing so either. Uh, the people that are good at it, I salute you. That is commendable. And it's uh, very uh, interesting to have people around that are really good at that stuff. I think that's fascinating, but I can't, I can't care. I can't care about that side of things. Cause I just, I just don't, it doesn't bring me any joy. It doesn't bring my life any rich enrichment. It just makes me tired. And so I want to leave that part up to people who are good at it. And I want to accept that I'm not good at it. And that if I want to be good at something, it's going to be abstract and creative. It's not going to be on the business side of things because Jesus, I had a rough time with that. Still do. That's really kind of it. You know, I, I did this because I wanted to provide the community here with um, another option with uh, resources uh, so that people could come just to downtown Milwaukee, get their film processed, maybe pick up some rolls of film and then um, not have to drive out, you know, 20 minutes to the next closest lab or send their film out somewhere far. And uh, I was very ambitious in doing this. And I think that ambition uh, bit me in the ass a little bit, but I'm not, I don't regret it. I think this was a really great learning experience. I'm glad that I did it because my intentions were good. There's a lot of heart behind this project. I was really excited to be a resource for the community in a different way. Failure is absolutely necessary in life to teach you lessons and to pave the way for better um, things in your life that will be successes. And so I don't take this failure lightly, but I am grateful for it because I dared to kind of go and put myself out on the line and do something a little stupid and do something a little bit risky in order to kind of have a better life, do something worthwhile, help people, um, contribute in a way that was meaningful. And I think that in my own small way, I was able to do those things. It's bittersweet. I wish that I could just hire five people to come work at this lab and I can just do my own thing and not have to worry about all the stuff that has to go on. But in reality, that's just not possible. So what's going on in the future? Well, this channel is neglected because I did this project and it took all my time and I'm, I'm regret, 
I regret <laughs> not spending any time on this channel. I want to come back. This is really something that I've been doing since 2017. I've been loving it and I really want to get back into making more videos about stuff that I like doing and sharing with you guys. That's been a very constant thing that I've been doing and I want to keep that going. I'm going to be doing more projects. I have a project that I have been working on that I had to put on pause while I'm here in Milwaukee that's going to be um, compiled in some way in the future. I'm going to get back to doing that. I will be moving back to California at some time next year. That's the plan. We miss California. Got to go back. <laughs> but in the near future, there'll be more stuff coming out of this channel. This is where I'll be focusing most of my creative energy for the near future. As far as the lab, after this video comes out, I will no longer be accepting any orders. All of the orders that I have at the lab are already um, in the queue. They're already getting done and I'll be getting through them as fast as I can. And then when the last roll goes through, that's the end of it. That is that is it for the lab. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for believing in me. Thank you guys for being here for my journey. I wish it could have been longer, but onward to better, more exciting things. And I will leave this business. I will leave this side of things to the people who are really good at it, like State Film, Indie Film Lab, uh, Boutique Film Lab, uh, Rewind uh, in California. We are very lucky to have a lot of really incredible labs out there. Although I wasn't able to fully assimilate myself into that pantheon of incredible film labs, I, I am very happy to know that there are still really fantastic film labs out there that you can rely on uh, with excellent people who are very good at what they do. Now I gotta get a real job. Oh God, I gotta get a real job. All right, see you guys.